Hi everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel. Today I will have sort of like a relaxing video. I'm sitting in my bedroom and um, this video is still going to be about nursing because I know that in my previous videos talking about uh, placements, your final placements of semester two and three, I promised that I will film another video covering my experience in operating theatre. Um, the reason why I wanted to make it a separate video because I wanted to talk more in details of what I have experienced and how it went for me because I think experience in operating theatre is such a great opportunity to just see how the surgery going and for me personally it was like the biggest highlight of my placement at that time because I've never ever would imagine myself standing here to the surgeon and watching with my eyes in an operating theater how the surgery is going so this was like mind-blowing <laughs> so um i had my um, shift in operating theater during my diploma of enrolled nursing at TAIF and when you will be uh, EM student you will be given opportunity to have either full day full shift in operated theatre, you may be given the opportunity to have uh, two or three days in operating theatre, which is your normal standard eight hour shift, or you will be given opportunity as I had uh, to assist my patient from the beginning till the end, which is mean I was administering the patient through the day of surgery unit, then preparing the patient for the surgery, then that patient was taken to the operating theater and then after that was taken to PACU and then after that was taken to surgical ward. So I saw the whole process then I assisted from the beginning till the end. Apart from the operating theater, I was not assisting there because I'm not qualified to do that. I was just sort of like standing there and watching. So this was like a great experience to see how the surgery is, you know, going and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so that was my experience and I want to talk about it in this video. So the surgery that I was watching was a unicompartmental knee replacement, which is also called a partial knee replacement. So if you never heard about this type of surgery, this is basically when someone has, for example, osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, you will find that the joints of your knee up and down, some parts of it will start to wear out, you know, and have some damage. Due to that, the mobility of the person will start to become impaired and also the person will experience a lot of pain. So this is the surgery that I was um, scheduled to watch. So my patient had this problem with one of his legs and the partial knee replacement needed to be done. Okay, and I will try to find a picture on Google and I'll put it here and I'll show you how it looks like. So basically you will find that a metal implants will be inserted to the bottom part of the joint and to the top part of the joint so that it could slide. And I will put the picture here so you could see how it looks like. Okay, so this was this is what was happening in the surgery. So from the beginning, after we administered the patient to the day of uh, surgery unit, we've got him changed and stuff like that. And then um, so the nurses from the operating theater they came to me and they said to me how do you think you will be reacting if you see any blood you know and cuts are you okay have you seen blood before you know did you ever fainted like were you all right i said yeah yeah it's okay like i can react all right to the blood and stuff like that so they told me look like if you feel like lightheaded or feel like you're going to faint just let us know you know and you can leave at any time Okay, and also they told me we can give you a chair and you can sit down and if you feel like really like, you know, dizzy and stuff, you know, you can just put your head with your face down on your knees and just stay in that position for a while until that feeling of lightheadedness would go away. So I said, yeah, okay, no problem. So, um... Like, I've seen blood so many times in my life. Like, you know, my kids had cuts, I had cuts, you know, and stuff like that. I see blood in patients and things, you know. 
um, but I've never been experienced like the real surgery so when the anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist came out to the day of surgery you need to do epidural you know and this is when I started to feel funny like as I said I'm okay with cuts and I'm okay with blood but when I saw the size of the needle going into the spine I was like I was still holding on I did not have any chair beside me okay it was just a patient sitting on a bed and an anesthesiologist beside him and everyone else was just standing and I was standing as well so um, when the drug was already given you know and then anesthesiologist started to take the fluid to test or something like that I'm not aware 100% about that process but when he started to take the fluid out with the big sort of like a needle you know and putting it in and out tested i don't know what he was testing exactly as i said i'm not the um surgery nurse i don't have experience with that you know so when that was happening just taking that huge needle in and out of course the patient didn't feel no had no pain anymore at that point i started to feel really really lightheaded and i feel like i'm going to fall like I still see things, I hear things, it's not like you're losing conscious, you know, I can see still everyone, I can hear everyone, you know, but that lightheadedness is so weird feeling, like I feel I'm going to fall, you know, and I feel like my head started to spin and I stopped looking at the needle, you know, and then when the nurse noticed, have noticed that, she said, um, she gave me the chair and she said, just sit down. And she said, are you feeling okay? I said, yeah, 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 it's just, it's just the needle. Like, it was no blood whatsoever. It was just the spine fluid coming out, you know, and just seeing the big needle going in. And I think I felt that way because the spine is such a gentle and at the same time risky area in our body because we all know like when we watch emergency shows on the tv when we watch movies like we all know that if something happened to the spine the person you know will be paralyzed the person might stay disabled all his life and stuff like that is such an important part of our body you know and it's just when this is why probably on the back of my mind when i saw the big needle going in you know and the fluid coming out i felt like I couldn't I couldn't watch it anymore so I sat in the chair you know and um, I sat for a while I was not looking at the needle side anymore so when that was done my patient was back again to the bed and he started to feel numbness coming more and more in his legs and the bottom part of his body and he was feeling completely all right so my lightheadedness go away I was feeling good and I was ready to go on to the surgery but i was not very sure if i can still do it you know so the nurse she said to me look again she reminded me she said if you feel like you can't do it you know you can either sit down on a chair so they gave me chair in the surgery of in operating uh, theater as well they said to me like you can sit down on a chair you know and just if you want to leave just leave okay so when my patient was ready they left him for a while for the anesthesia to start working you know for his epidural and they told me okay you can go and change to your scrubs so i went i changed to my scrubs and i will show you a small video that i took i went to the toilet because i had a little bit of time so i changed to my scrubs and i went to the toilet i took a video of myself because it was such a good experience like you know to have a to have a shift in an operating theater you know so i thought like i will make a small memory and i will take a small video so um this video is very private you know um i didn't show anybody in it it was just me in the toilet so i thought like it's okay to post online it's nothing there you know um so after that i've been changed to my scrubs and i took one extra jacket because you can have like your t-shirt sort of like a then pants and then you can put the jacket on because obviously an operating theater is very very cold um so when we went to the operating theater i was offered to either stand or sit on my chair you know and if i want to get closer to the operating <clears throat> table or the bed where the surgery is happening you know i could come in but not closer than one meter 
to the surgeon and the operating site okay because everything there is sterile and even though i was having my gloves i was having you know like full um scrubs and stuff i cannot get too close um so it's like infection control prevention and all of these things um so yeah when all of that started you know i was thinking in my head oh my god it's going to be probably so much blood you know when someone cut things in your body and stuff but I was surprised it wasn't. So they used something like a tourniquet on top of his leg, on a thigh area. They tighten it up. Then they put like a film very similar to your clean, clean wrap that you wrap your food, you know, in the fridge and stuff, you know, like the top of your plates and stuff. So something very similar, they put it on the top of a uh, skin. Before that, they sanitize it with a uh, proper liquid, which is like a wine color. Or like a dark pinkish sort of color something like that and yes so it was not much of a blood during that operation um and operation by itself was quite interesting um like i've seen so many operations on youtube and in emergency shows videos and stuff and all this grace anatomy and things like that but watching it up close and in real was completely different experience you know and um it was so interesting like surgeon they were using tools like drilling tools and knocking tools and if you look at it they so similar like when someone fixing car you know <laughs> all those drills you know and hammers and all of that but apart from that those ones were used for surgeries you know so it was a lot of drilling a lot of knocking and stuff so the surgeon needed to remove the top part of the joint just the small part and the bottom part of the joint you know do some drilling as well knocking to scrap the pieces out you know smooth it and then put the uh, metal uh, parts in that would be representing like the rest of the bone that will be serving lifetime and um that was quite interesting to see uh also some people say you know when the cut is happening and stuff you know uh some people see like sometimes they use this like a melting sort of like i don't know how to call it uh you know you have like a laser or sometimes you have something that would cut the tissues where the fat is and stuff all these layers and it's like a heating tool and some people sometimes say you can smell you know the meat or the fat or something like that there is a particular smell like when you're in the surgery room you can smell the bone you can smell the blood you can smell the fat it, it, it has a smell you know um, but it's not really that bad you know it's not that bad um so yeah it was interesting to see all the tissues you know when they cut the skin to see the layers what's underneath the skin how the bone look like all the ligaments and stuff it's so so interesting like really so so interesting um i did not faint i did not feel lightheaded i could watch operation like from the beginning till the end it didn't take that long i think all up was about an hour maybe 40 minutes something like that and uh also the great experience was to see how it was stitched back together and also it was interesting to see how they do the counting of the instruments that was used during the uh, operation so the other nurse would come out and it will be one nurse that will be assisting the surgeon giving all the instruments and stuff like that and then once the surgery is finished they have to do the recount and make sure that nothing has been forgotten inside of the body tissues something like that so that was interesting to see i'm sure many of you probably have seen it on a tv shows and stuff like that so that's real that's happening in practice they have to be you know careful and safe not to forget the tools inside um then when the operation was finished my patient was taken out to PACU, which is your post anesthesia care unit and we stayed there i think about uh an hour something like that so uh vital signs of my patient was co were constantly monitored and we were writing it down every five minutes and i had a chance to see how my patient is coming back again from anesthesia and just see and assess his pain level see how he's doing it was interesting to see how his feelings 
in his legs coming back again together you know we would do neurovascular orbs on him as well to see the sensation of movement all of that was coming back it was quite interesting uh he was not in pain everything was controlled uh well and after that my patient was taken to a surgical ward and i followed him to the surgical ward and i stayed in the surgical ward until the end of my shift and i was able to look after that patient do the post ops because usually when the patient comes out from the surgery they're on certain medication like really strong pain relief it could be morphine it could be oxycodone and things like that could be combination of both and in this case you have to do for a certain period of time 30 minutes ops so i was doing that for my patient and just seeing him coming back again you know and it was a great experience to just see the whole process from the end until the from the beginning till the end and he was he recognized me you know um after the surgery he was happy for me to look after him you know after the surgery we had chat it was just wonderful person and yeah so that was my experience guys um definitely if you uh will be doing your en diploma of enrolled nursing and you will be offered uh um operative theater shift try and take it you know if you will feel like you afraid of looking at the blood or you don't know how you will react because obviously you never experience you know any chance of being present at the surgery site you know you might think oh my god i'm not gonna you know be able to watch i'm going to feel dizzy and stuff like that lightheaded just it's okay like you might be afraid and think that this could happen but you might be all right like i was i was only like lightheaded for the needle side you know but then the whole surgery i was completely all right like you never know how you will react but yet everyone will be so nice to you they will give you a chair like they've done for me where you can sit down or you can leave at least you tried you know because it's such a great experience and even if i'm not gonna be working in an operating theater or maybe i will in the future i don't know like it has to be like separate training for that and stuff like that you have to study more but in general even if i'm not gonna go that pathway it's still interesting to see you know because those are the patients that you are looking after if you're working in a surgical ward or if you're practicing in a surgical ward so most of your patients come out from after the surgeries so you know having that experience watching them what's happening to them in that surgery you know is very beneficial because you know what they experienced you know what they're going through and stuff like that and it's also interesting like i mean come on who wouldn't want to see the surgery <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah so that was my experience now i'm looking forward to um actually have my next experience in operating theater but this time as rn student because i'm continuing now my um, degree of nursing science to become rn and i didn't start filming any of the videos of me being rn student because i'm now in my second year and i wanted first to film all my EN experience and then sort of like go on on RN experience so I have a few more videos to film for you guys regarding diploma of enrolled nursing and then the rest of my nursing videos will be about my experience of being RN student um, so yeah I'm looking for my second opportunity because I remember when I was a young student in that hospital where I had the opportunity to be in operating theater I remember that my other RN students who were with me they had that opportunity as well to be present in surgical um, unit uh, sorry in operating uh, theater so this is why i'm hoping to have my second chance you know and yeah maybe i will have this time like the whole shift where i can watch other surgeries you know not just one um as my other students in my class had like i had a few students who watched uh total knee replacement hip replacement it was so much fun and uh yeah so this is my experience guys thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i will answer them and i'll see you in my next videos bye